up guys what's going on welcome back to trials of heroes so this week event guys is the spring of pegasus so if you've saved up your magic coins here we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna spin the wheel and uh we're gonna see what we're gonna get well, i'm really looking forward to getting some azazel here but his chances are 0.55 percent pretty low this guy's a damn good hero guys let's take a look at his abilities here maxed out here let's go with his ultimate deal two thousand percent damage to all enemies the living enemies share the damage equally so the less opponents the crazier the damage this ability is in freaking saying guys i'm not gonna lie i play a lot of games and this ability here i've never seen this ability before two thousand percent damage and it spreads between the living that's incredible i love that ultimate right there let's take a look at his second ability here when dealing damage recovers 35 percent of the damage into hp so that's pretty good here a self-sustain ability third ability here increases hp attack and crit and then final ability havoc a normal attack strike two random enemies for 100 percent damage has a 35 percent chance to silence the target for two rounds and a 35 percent chance to disarm the target for two rounds a disarm enemy is unable to do any attacks so all of his abilities seem pretty dope I especially like this ultimate here. So I spun the wheel around. I refreshed a bunch of times. And uh, this was the best hero that I could come up with. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to spin up the wheel and see what we're going to get. All right. So as I said before, guys, you can refresh the wheel if you don't like what you see on the board here. And what I recommend is if you get these item pieces here, there's only one copy of those in there. So once you get those, refresh and then wait again to spin the wheel again. Now, I'm not going to do that because for the sake of the video, it would take too long. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to spin everything I got here. Hopefully, I can get a Zazzle there. That's the only time that I'm going to refresh the wheel if I get him. If I don't get him, because there's only one copy of the hero in the board. So if I get him, I'll be really happy. All right, there's the artifact there. So let's see here. So since we got the artifact, it's no longer there. That These two artifacts are the only thing that it happens for. And the hero as well. So let's keep going now, guys. Come on, Azazel! I don't have any copies of him yet. This would be a cool first time having him. So I would... He's one of the heroes that I would love to work on slowly. Right now, my main concern, guys, is to build Shadow and Light heroes. I'm all in on the Shadow and Light. All right here. Nothing. Damn it. Okay. Come on. At least give me that legendary piece. Yikes. Not even that. Come on. The chances are so low. Now, these always help. The shadow and light. Those are incredible. I love those as well. They help out. And obviously, we're getting some summons here. We're getting some magic crystals. So, all in all, it's all good. But I would love to end up with a Zaz. Oh, still nothing. Come on, at least a legendary piece. Come on, man. Okay, we got the legendary piece. That's one half of the way there. All right, guys, come on. Five chances left here to get a Zazzle here. Come on, a Zazzle. Oh, darn it. Oh, all right. Three chances left, guys. Three. At least one copy. So I can start working on him. Yikes. Oh, no. Well, we got two of the 30s there. All right. So last one here, guys. This is for all the marbles. Literally all of my coins. Azazel, pop up there. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wow are you kidding me right now guys that is fantastic Woo! all right so i got him there on my last pull what are the chances very very low but awesome very happy to get him there my first copy guys so let's go ahead now and uh let's see what else we got all right so we also got a ton of goodies here guys for spinning the wheel here so let's go ahead let's claim everything there let's delete this now Huh. Let's go ahead. Let's take out Zazzle and see what, what I'm going to do with him. All right. So this is the team I'm working on right now, guys. A little bit of everything here. There's a lot of moving pieces around here. I have not committed really to anybody just yet. Um, end goal is going to be, obviously, I'm going to go for light and dark first to 10 stars. But it's so much easier to do all these other heroes here. You can save yourself a, a ton of money that way. So what I'm thinking is get Abyss Lord. 10 stars and then maybe switch them over for one of these other guys 
I don't know. We'll see about that. I do have a actually a good amount of copies here. Let's see here. So we got a good amount of copies of Hellguard. I got three there, and I can also buy one more at the Crucible there, a Crusade. And then I also got a ton of these Paladins as well that I've been lucky on, on pulls. So... I'm probably going to end up probably doing my first Shadow Hero is going to be Hellguard there. And then I'm probably going to go from there. Uh, I got a lot of copies of her here. A ton of copies there. So there's a lot of maneuvering pieces here as well. Another great hero here is... Let's take a look here. Is Leraye. This guy's name is totally European. I can just tell because I'm European. But I love his abilities here. Especially this ability here. Whenever while below a certain percentage. And this gets a lot higher when you upgrade him. HP weakens all enemies for two rounds. So it's going to weaken all your enemies for two rounds. And that's incredible, guys. I love this guy here. I would definitely love to have him on my team here. But now that we got a Zazzle, I'm probably going to end up and doing a Zazzle instead of him. It all depends on what my luck is going to be on in the future pulls here. So, so we'll have to wait and see on that. I'm not going to go ahead and pull these heroes because I'm waiting for the event to come up where I have to summon a certain amount of creatures for each faction here. So we're going to wait on that, guys. Just a quick overview of my account while I'm here. Um, let's see. So here's the level that I'm at right now, waiting for more experience, 16.5, I'm a little bit behind here, level 115, Dragon Island is at level 8, need some more here to get the level 9, so working on that one as well, and just a lot of things here, let's go into the tower, maybe we can do a battle in the tower here guys, this is what my team is looking like right now, I wanted to kind of go with the all freeze team here, but... I ended up changing my Grimoire here, so I used to run, I guess, what do you call it, the Frost Eagle? But now I switched over to this because my end goal is going to be petrifying my opponents. <laughs> I don't know why I like that, That's I think that's better for PvE, so we're going to go ahead with that one. Let's go ahead here, ooh, another win here, let's keep climbing, 343, and boom! Let's see how far we can take this now. Oh, beautiful. Oh! We suffered our first defeat there. Mm. I see why. Hang on, let's make a little bit of adjustment here. I just realized right now that I'm running my old setup here. Let's take you out and let's put Eugene in there. I for completely forgot. How can I forget Eugene? This guy is the main man right now. I got him at nine stars. I got two heroes at nine stars here. I got one hero at... Well, we'll go back into that. Let's see how... Ooh, we lost again. Looks like this is going to be tough here at this point. I might have to upgrade a bunch more heroes here. But let me just show you guys what the goal is going to be for a little bit further on here. So... Let's take a look at how much more I need to upgrade Abyss Lord here. So, I've got... Well, we're going to need a 9-star hero, obviously, to sacrifice. I got another Abyss Lord here. And we got a 6-star. We got two Abyss Lords. So, all I'm missing right now is one 9-star hero. Now, here's the thing. Right here, Stargazer, he's actually very close to 9-starring. So, all I, got, all I need now is one more 6-star and I can just sacrifice a bunch of these guys here. It doesn't really matter. Yes, yeah, so all I need is a 6-star here. I'll be able to get Stargazer to 9-stars. And I'm going to use him to sacrifice for Abyss Lord. And then I'm going to put Abyss Lord, obviously, to 10-stars. My first 10-star. And then the goal after that will be to go ahead and sacrifice him for either... It's probably going to be Hellguard. One by one... The main goal is going to be get a hero to 10 or whatever, 11 star or whatever. And then switch him over here for a dark or a light hero. And then eventually to have as many as I can of that faction. The end goal is going to be 3 light, 3 shadow heroes. That is the end goal. Anyways, that's about it for today, guys. Uh, I've got pretty lucky there. I'm crazy excited. Uh, let me know if you guys are enjoying. Hopefully, you guys get pretty lucky as well. And I will catch you guys on the next Trials of Heroes video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon. Good night, everybody. Peace out.